The 20th century saw the rise and fall of the Soviet Union, and with it, the rise, fall, and rebirth of Russian aviation. Soviet and Russian Federation fighter jets have long been a permanent fixture in military aviation, and look to remain so. Now let's have a look at some of the best Russian fighter jets produced by the former Soviet war machine. The arms race that resulted from the Cold War tensions between the United States and NATO versus the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact created an environment in which fighter jets were used for PR wars as much as actual combat. In building their fighter jets, Russian aeronautics experts were always concerned with what the US and its allies were doing and how they could best counter them. This led to a great deal of military spending on the part of both nations. It has been argued that the increased military spending by the United States helped expedite the Soviet Union's economic collapse as they attempted to keep up. Mikoyan MiG-17 We begin with the real blast from the past when it comes to Russian fighter jets. First introduced in 1952, the Mikoyan MiG-17 saw extensive operational history in the Soviet, Chinese, and most notably, the Vietnamese Air Forces. The Vietnam War saw the MiG-17's most famous combat usage with it being flown by North Vietnamese forces against the United States Air Force in engagements throughout the war. Though the United States Air Force employed fighters that were far newer and more advanced, the North Vietnamese were still able to achieve some success with their MiG-17s, and Chinese pilots were also able to use them effectively. Mikoyan MiG-29 In keeping up with competition between the US and USSR Russia, the MiG-29s were originally developed in the late 70s and introduced in 1982 as a counterpoint to America's F-16s. These Soviet fighter jets were originally designed primarily with air superiority in mind. However, the Soviet Air Force adapted them to be used as multi-role fighters that could also be used to conduct military strikes. Ukraine inherited dozens of MiG-29s after the dissolution of the USSR and has employed them against Russian separatists during the ongoing war in Donbass, which has seen some Ukrainian MiG-29s shot down in combat. Mikoyan MiG-31 First introduced in 1981, the Mikoyan MiG-31 has the chance to be one of the longest-lasting jet fighters in the world due to the fact that the Russian military has recently stated it will remain in use well into the 2030s. The MiG-31 possesses several types of cutting-edge advanced jet fighter technology, and there have been reports of it being among one of the only jet aircraft that can fire long-range air-to-air missiles. Unlike other MiGs on this list, the MiG-31 has not seen a great deal of exportation. Kazakhstan is the only other military confirmed to use them. Syria has attempted to purchase them in the past, but socioeconomic and political factors have reportedly caused these sales to stall. Mikoyan MiG-35 one of the most recent entries into the Russian Air Force's arsenal, the Mikoyan MiG-35 was first introduced in 2007 at the Aero India Air Show and entered active service in 2019. The aircraft comes as either a single or twin seat. The MiG-25 is seen as a huge upgrade over the MiG-31 with its precision targeting and is compatible with AESA radar. The MiG-35 is powered by two Klimov RD33MK engines with Full Authority Digital Engine Electronics Control, or FADEC for short. Because of its recent design, it has not yet seen combat, and has not been exported for use by other countries, although Egypt has shown interest in the past. Sukhoi Su-24 First introduced to the Soviet Air Force in 1974, the Su-24 was designed as a supersonic jet that could be used in all weather conditions. It boasts a twin engine, variable sweep wing design, as well as a twin seat arrangement with seats side by side for the two pilots. It has seen extensive combat usage during its lifespan with notable engagements in the Soviet side of the Soviet-Afghan War, as well as the Russian side of the First Chechen War. It has remained in service with the Russian Air Force since 1991, as well as other former Soviet Air Forces, including that of Ukraine and Azerbaijan. It is eventually intended to be phased out completely in favor of another Sukhoi aircraft, the Su-35. Sukhoi Su-25 A follow-up to the Su-24, the Su-25 offered much of the same with a few improvements. 
The fighter jet was first introduced to the Soviet Air Force as a prototype in 1975, received testing in 1978 in Tbilisi, and entered active service in 1981. As with its predecessor, the Su-25 has seen its fair share of active usage. It was used extensively in the Soviet-Afghan War, launching more than 100 missile strikes. It was also used on the Iraqi side of the Iran-Iraq War, where they were extremely effective with the loss of only one fighter. The 90s once again saw the Iraqi Air Force employ the Su-25 against coalition forces during the Gulf War. Russia, meanwhile, employed the Su-25 in hundreds of engagements against Chechen separatists in the 90s and 2000s during the First and Second Chechen Wars. Sukhoi Su-30 This offering from Sukhoi was developed in the late 1980s during the last years of the Soviet Union and eventually entered service after the dissolution of the USSR as part of the Russian Air Force. In 1997, a variant called the Su-30 MKK was produced for the Chinese to be used by the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Another variant, the Su-MKM, was produced for Malaysia, while another, the Su-30KI, was developed for use by the Indian Air Force. Russia has continued to use the Su-30 in military active use, notably in 2015 during its aforementioned intervention in the Syrian Civil War, conducting strikes designed to assist Bashar al-Assad. Sukhoi Su-34 This aircraft first flew as a prototype in 1990, just a year before the dissolution of the USSR, the breakup of which led to development being delayed for a long period of time. The Su-34 made its debut in the Russian Air Force in 2014. This is yet another aircraft that has seen use on the Syrian-Russian side of the Syrian Civil War. It has also been deployed against ISIS, with reports of strikes in the Hama region. Unlike the Su-27, the Su-24 has not seen much operation by foreign entities. However, Algeria has recently been rumored to have become the first foreign buyer and operator of the Su-34, though this has not been confirmed. Sukhoi Su-35 Another example of a late 80s fighter jet developed by Sukhoi during the final years of the Soviet Union, this fourth generation jet was first used in 2014, more than 15 years after it was conceived. As with other Su fighter jets, the Su-35 has been used for active combat during Russia's involvement in the Syrian Civil War. The Russian Air Force has currently stationed several Su-35s at Kamaimim Air Base in Syria. Despite its developmental delays, the Su-35 has gone on to be exported to several air forces around the world, with Algeria, Indonesia, and China all ordering it. Sukhoi Su-27 First introduced in 1985, this entry into the Su line of fighter jets was sold to China where it was licensed and developed into the Shenyang J-11, which has remained in service since 1999. Ukraine also inherited Su-27s following the collapse of the Soviet Union. However, they did not choose to modernize the jet for contemporary use and have largely retired it. Russia, meanwhile, has continued to use the fighter jet regularly. It was deployed during a conflict with Georgia in 1992. Russia has used a modernized version of the fighter, the Su-27 SM-3, in its military intervention in the Syrian Civil War. Sukhoi Su-57 Old rivalries die hard, and the United States and Russia remain in a military arms race, with the development of fifth-generation fighter jets being a key front in that competition. Our final Sukhoi fighter jet, the Su-57, is intended to be Russia's answer to the United States Air Force's highly touted fifth-generation aircraft. The Su-57 will be the first Russian aircraft to have stealth capabilities and will also feature tremendous speed and maneuverability. The aircraft was first made ready for the Russian government in 2019 and is set to make its first flight as an active fighter jet in the Russian Air Force sometime in 2020. And there you have it. Those are 10 of the most incredible aircraft. What do you think? Are you impressed? Not sold? Do you have any favorites among these, or ideas for Russian military aircraft we missed? Sound off in the comments to let us know your thoughts. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give us a like and smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on real modern military content like this.